The content of MS-203 exam is new updated. You can get the latest MS-203 exam dumps from Passert to best prepare for your Microsoft 365 messaging exam. We ensure you get the valid MS-203 dumps with real questions and answers to practice so that you can easily pass your Microsoft MS-203 exam successfully. Question 1. You need to configure the Exchange organization to meet the security requirements for sending email messages to distribution groups. Which CMD let should you run? A. Set organization config. B. Set distribution group. C. Set mailbox. D. New policy up config. Answer. A. Question 2. You need to recommend a solution for the public folders that supports the planned changes and meets the technical requirements. What should you recommend? A. Microsoft SharePoint Site Mailboxes B. Office 365 Groups C. Resource Mailboxes D. Public Folder Replicas Answer. B. Question 3 You need to recommend a solution that meets the security requirements for protecting users. What should you recommend? A. From the Security and Compliance Admin Center, create an ATP Safe Attachments Policy. B. From the Exchange Admin Center in Exchange Online, create a Spam Filter Policy. C. From the Security and Compliance Admin Center, create an ATP anti-phishing policy. D. From the Security and Compliance Admin Center, create an ATP safe links policy. Answer. D. Question 4. You need to resolve the email delivery delay issue. What should you do? A. From the Security and Compliance Admin Center, modify the Safe Attachments Policy B. From the Security and Compliance Admin Center, create a Supervision Policy. C. From the Exchange Admin Center in Exchange Online, modify the Anti-Malware Policy. D. From the Exchange Admin Center in Exchange Online, modify the Spam Filter Policy. Answer. A. Question 5. You need to configure the required objects for the branch office administrators. What should you create for each administrator? A. A management role assignment policy and a management role group. B. A management role scope and a management role assignment. C. A management role scope and a management role group. D. A management role and a management role assignment policy. Answer. C. Question 6. You need to identify which users clicked the links in the phishing emails. What should you do? A. Run a message trace and review the results. B. Query the mailbox audit log. C. Use the URL trace reporting feature. D. Review the quarantine mailbox. Answer. C. Question 7. You need to email a list of configuration changes to the Exchange Online environment that were recently performed by Alan D. Young. What should you do? A. Run the admin audit log report. B. Run the external admin audit log report. C. Export the admin audit log. D. Run an administrator role group report. E. Export the mailbox audit logs. 
Answer. C. Question 8. All the users in your company have Microsoft 365 mailboxes. Each user connects to Microsoft Exchange Online and OneDrive for Business from a personal computer that runs Windows 10. You need to ensure that the users can save attachments to OneDrive for Business only when they connect to their mailbox from Outlook on the web. What should you create? A. An app protection policy in Microsoft Endpoint Manager. B. A device compliance policy in Microsoft Endpoint Manager. C. An Outlook web app policy in Exchange Online. D. An Exchange ActiveSync device access rule. Answer. C. Question 9. You have a Microsoft Exchange Server 2019 organization. You need to provide a user named User1 with the ability to create and manage transport rules. To which management role group should you add User1? A. Compliance Management B. Server Management C. Records Management D. Hygiene Management Answer. C. Question 10. You have a Microsoft 365 subscription. Several users report today that they cannot access email from their mobile device. They successfully accessed their email from the same device yesterday. You need to identify which mobile device access rule applies to the devices. Which CMD let should you run? A. Get M Sol device. B. Get device tenant rule. C. Get mobile device. D. Get active sync mailbox policy. Answer. C. Question 11. 